Howdy, Dan Bass here, out in East Texas. It's a beautiful East Texas November. Uh, we're having some issues with our Ford 5000 series. It uh, appears to be getting airlocked. Hello, appears to be getting airlocked. Um, I checked around on all the various fuel line connections and right down here at the shutoff valve, the line going from the shutoff valve um, that goes straight into the pump area, um, it was extremely loose. So whether it was through vibration or uh, through some work that we've had done on it, don't really know. But uh, here we are. I'm going to do a quick video on how to bleed the air out of the fuel or the diesel line on a Ford 5000 series. Okay, so... Let me show you the points that we're going to have to loosen when I get it cranked. Um, and I put a battery jumper on it because uh, when it stopped running, I kept on trying to get it started and drain the battery down. So that'll get the battery going again. And uh, we're going to turn that nut up there, this nut up here, this one right here, and this one right here. We're going to do that in succession from left to right. Um, and that should get us going. That should get all the air out of the line. Okay. So I'm bringing it back down here. And hopefully vibration doesn't knock my GoPro off this mount here. That appears to have been the problem. We're going to run it through a couple of laps with the mower and see how it runs. If that fixes the problem, this is the last video you'll see about it. All right. All right. Tractor for about a 30, 40 minute ride. Use the brush hog pretty much the whole time and uh, use the hydraulics with the front end loader. Everything seemed to do just fine. Didn't put too much strain on the engine. Uh, didn't sputter, didn't stop, did everything it's supposed to. So what we did was kind of trace the fuel line from the, uh, the diesel tank here on through and came right over to here and I'm assuming these are the diesel filters. So loosened up this back bolt right here and this one right here while I was cranking on the ignition. So I had my, my hand over here turning the ignition and my right hand has reached all the way around here and turning on this back nut right here on top of the uh, diesel filter. So I loosened that one and some air bubbles came out and I tightened it up. And then when I loosened this one, a bunch of air bubbles came out and that's when the engine turned over. So while you're doing that over here, you had to be cranking on the uh, ignition over here. So it'd be a lot easier to have somebody helping you with it. But either way, uh, it started right up. And uh, also right over here are two more bleeder nuts that you can uh, bleed air out of the system if, it, if it's gotten this far. So you loosen this one up and then tighten it 
and then loosen this one up over here and then tighten it as well if, if you still can't get it cranked. So those are the steps to bleeding the air out of the system on a Ford 5000. Okay, dokie. Thanks for watching. Peace.